Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really great. Today I am here with Pepper. Uh, you might fancy him now, he's just staring down there um, because there's some yummy treats. Uh, here he is. And I thought you all have met uh, one tiny looks but big part of my life. So yes, I will show you today mm -hmm my ultimate puppy checklist even though he's not a puppy anymore he's full grown uh he's two years old now but still i think when you are getting a dog then i think it's always good to know what is important and you know what is a nice to have so yeah let's uh jump right into it the first thing which i think is like the most important is a bed or you know some kind of um place in the apartment or in the house where it's just like the dog's place so i think a puppy bed is perfect and the only thing that i would always give as an advice when it comes to that is buy it in you know kind of a larger size Ideally, the size that your dog will fit once they're like fully grown. Um, I made the mistake of buying a bed that is too small and then I had to buy another one. And that's just like a factor that you should consider. So I would always recommend buying a really like good size of a bed for um, your dog's like kind of end size. The second thing that I would always recommend is getting a blanket. It's just something where, you know, they can like cuddle up and when they're like small, you know, they just want to feel like cozy. I know that there are some dogs that don't like blankets, uh, which is totally fine. The third thing and that's like really important is um, a food and water uh, bowl. I would definitely always choose like two different ones. It's like water is something that should always, always, always be accessible to your dog, uh, no matter the time and no matter where you are. I would also recommend uh, having like a, a water bottle um, that you can like take everywhere for your dog. So I would give you the tip that when you buy the food and um, water bowl, choose a size that will fit at the end the amount of food that you're giving your full grown dog so you don't have to buy uh, two different sizes next to that what is really important is a good harness um this is just like a uh, peppa's little harness tiny dog it's not that huge um go into like a store ask what size fits them but it's like really important that it fits I am a huge fan of harness in the beginning when they can um, walk uh, really good on their leash and you know the whole body is still very like sensitive so you don't want to hurt them when you're like um, I walk with them on the leash so I think harness in the beginning um, is key um, especially also if you have like a longer leash and you just want to let them uh, kind of like browse uh, on their walk so harness very very important to me um also um their um other like color uh is super important by now we only go with the color if he's on leash or you know if he has like the super long leash like 10 15 20 meters then we go with the harness i do personally think that harness is good at the beginning and then you should um switch but it always really depends on your walk, what you're doing, what the reason behind it is. So it's always good that your dog knows both. The fourth thing that is like very, very important um, are poop bags. I always use the sustainable people ones. I think they're, they're great and I know everyone has like a different preference to it, but I think these are so important and you can never have enough of them. In addition to that, I think it's good to have something where you have them inside um, because sometimes they just like um, can like roll apart and then you have that everywhere. So I always have them in this like little bag here. There are definitely um, specific ones, but I just had that at home. So using that one and it's just like easy if you're going to walk, you just can take that with you. The next and very important part is the leash. And for that, uh, I think it's like very, very, very important 
that you know what you like. I had so many of them in like different sizes and um, you know, different like fabric, different materials. And at the end of the day, I realized that I'm just a person who likes this um, leather leash very much. And you know, it's not like too, too heavy. I had so many heavy leashes that was, it was just like not working out for me. Go in store and really figure out what you like, what is like, what works for you. Um, and you should also there consider the final height of your dog. But I do have different ones. So I have this one, it's very simple and it's very short. And I have this one. That one is a little bit longer. It's like um, the same thing, but this one comes in quite handy because I can just like uh, throw it like this. I have my hands free and um, that works quite well. So I do have those and I do have a, I think 20 meter or 50 meter leash for when we go um, into the, the woods. The next thing that I do recommend when it comes to having a leash is a um, kind of like house leash, I would call it. The difference here is that they don't have like any material here that, you know, makes a noise. So it's just like the fabric one. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it has to be kind of short. And I use that for training in the beginning. I don't use it as much now. Sometimes, I, I don't know, it's just like something that I use for training and really, really works out. I know everyone has like different um training methods which i think is great and everyone has to find their own way it totally differs with dogs um i have a very stubborn dog so this um, really helped because i was just like talking about um beds i did crate training so i have a crate he still has a crate so i could highly recommend that the next thing that i always use when we go out for a walk when it's night is um, kind of like a light. I think it's really great because sometimes at night dogs are just too dark and they can't be seen and that can be a safety hazard. So I think something like that is really crucial. This little thing uh, is very important. This pipe is what I use for calling him outside. I use that right from the beginning with uh, like um, a training method that worked for me and with that pipe he by let's say i don't know what percentage i would never go 100 percent. i don't think that you know you can ever reach 100 percent. not even a police dog but he definitely comes back when i um use that pipe but it took a uh, months and months of training and you never know if in a case of an emergency it will work you don't know the next thing that is nice to have are toys. That one um, already looks a lot used by him. He loves that. That was one of his first toys. And I do recommend getting them something. It's not necessary to have that. Like you can find other things that they can, uh, they can even like have fun with a towel that you just like put together in a knot or something like that. But if you do get toys, um, try to find something that are like out of a good material so they don't destroy them easily um just because uh otherwise you will need to buy so many different toys because they like rip them head we have this now two years and i think for that it really looks good um i mean obviously here are some like threads that are coming out um but after two years i think that is like a great condition the next thing that i would recommend is a little first aid kit um we bought it um it's not that I, we use it a lot but it has like every important thing um in there from like i don't know first aid uh, pads to small scissors i don't know what else is in there i've looked in there for such a long time hand sanitizer many things in there i haven't used it which is great because i didn't like really need them i mean in case of like super bad emergency always drive to uh, the dog um or animal clinic near you but for me it was just a factor of i felt a lot better when having that and especially when it's your first dog you feel a little bit insecure so it's always good to have that 
The next thing, and this is just an example of it. This is not like a, a usual ball. This is something where you can put it in snacks and they have to like roll it around until they get it out. So it is great for their brain and they have like that mental activity, not only like the physical activity. So I do have many things where he can um, basically work with his intelligence. Um, sometimes I even just use a, like I said, the, the towel before and then I put snacks in there and then roll it around and has, he has to go get them out. So uh, I do think that those mental training toys are really good. You really want them to be stimulated and, and that kind of um, thing. I do think that we nearly have everything that I would always recommend. Uh, and while we're talking this ball and snacks, I just need to hide them. Here. Snacks, uh, that's just like uh, an example. Um, uh, just take whatever your dog likes and those are good for like training. I mean, obviously you need food, but I think this is like something that, you know, everyone has to figure out by themselves. Um, and you know what is good for your dog? Same with snacks. I do recommend getting something where you can like pour in the snacks that you can take on um, for your walk and go get something that they can chew on. Dogs release a lot of stress by chewing. So whenever you know you had a busy walk with your puppy or you had um, any like stressful situation, it's always good to give them something to chew that they can calm down. Don't overdo it. Um, but I think that is something that really helped me in the puppy phase. Also, it helps when they um, lose their teeth. Um, it's great for them to help them with that. And what I can also recommend is a ooh, um is a gps tracker he has that on um, his collar here uh, i think that is especially in the beginning really nice if you are like scared that your puppy is running away or anything like that that one is uh great so yeah that was it i hope you can get some inspiration out and i hope this helps you to figure out what your dog needs and what is maybe a nice to have you can also check out uh, virago spring i will leave the link in the description uh, in case you just want to like go back and read what i would recommend and yes wherever you are i hope you enjoy the rest of your day night um and yes bye